Hello everyone, welcome back to Knit Crow Addict channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet an easy tote bag. I have free written pattern, it's available on our blog at knitcrowaddict.com and if you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on our Etsy, Ravelry and Lovecraft. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. This bag is super easy to make. We're gonna start from the bottom up, work in a round. For the straps, we're gonna make in a row, one side at a time. You can make a longer strap by adding more row. It's very easy to do. Please check in description below for all the details. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. For this crochet bag pattern, I use sugar and cream yarn. Super size. This is number four medium weight yarn. This one in color, Sonoma. In each ball, it have 143 yards. So I used the whole two balls for this bag. And then six millimeter crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle. We're gonna start off with a magic ring. You can use any method you prefer to make a magic ring. Here's what I like to do. I twist my yarn like this. The short tail is on top and then I pinch it right here. Then insert the hook into that loop, yarn over hook, pull up a loop, and then chain one. The chain one is the part of a magic ring, okay? Now we have a ring. To start round one, we chain three. One, two, three. The first three chains always count as one double crochet. Then I'm gonna make 11 double crochet into the same ring space. So yarn over hook, insert the hook into the same ring space, yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two loops, yarn over pull through two loops. That is a double crochet. And then double crochet into the same ring space, double crochet into the same ring space, double crochet into the same ring space. All right, keep repeating this until you have 11 double crochet. So include the first three chain, it'll be 12 stitches. Okay, now I have 12 stitches, include the first three chain. And now we're gonna close up this hole. So we're gonna pull this little tail tight to close up the hole like that. Then we're gonna end the round with slip stitch into the third chain. Insert the hook into the third chain. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop, and pull it through. When I make slip stitch, I make sure I make it tight. So the next round, I'm not gonna accidentally crochet into that slip stitch. Round two, chain three. Count as one double crochet. Then into the same stitch, I'm gonna make one more double crochet. And then we're gonna make two double crochet into each stitch around to increase. So two double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochet into the next stitch. All right, keep making two double crochet into each stitch around. I'm at the end of round two, and I have a total of 24 stitches around. And to end round two, make a slip stitch into the third chain. Round three, chain three. Always count as one double crochet. And then make two double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, now we're gonna start the repeat. The repeat is going to be one double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochet into the next stitch. 
and then repeat that around. Okay, so double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochet into the next stitch. And then repeat one double crochet into the next stitch. And then two double crochet into the next stitch. And then repeat one double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochet into the next stitch. All right, keep repeating this. It's like one, two, one, two, one, two around. I'm at the end of round three and I have a total of 36 stitches around. And to end the round, we're gonna make a slip stitch into the third chain. For round four, chain three. Always count as one double crochet. And then make one double crochet into the next stitch. And then two double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're gonna start the repeat. The repeat is going to be one double crochet into each of next two stitches and then two double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're gonna repeat that around. So double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch, two double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, we're gonna repeat, we're gonna make one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and then two double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat one double crochet into each of next two stitches. Two double crochet into the next stitch. All right, so keep repeating this around. It's like one, one, two and around. Okay, I'll be back soon. I'm at the end of round four and I have a total of 48 stitches around. And we're gonna end the round with slip stitch into the third chain. For round five, chain three, always count as one double crochet. And then make one double crochet into each of next two stitches. And then make two double crochet into the next stitch. Oops. And now we're gonna start the repeat. The repeat is going to be one double crochet into each of next three stitches and then two double crochet into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that around. So double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then two double crochet into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat this. We're gonna make double crochet into each of next three stitches. and then two double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat one double crochet into each of next three stitches. And then two double crochet into the next stitch. All right, keep repeating this around. It's like one, 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 two around. I'm at the end of round five and I have a total of 60 stitches around. And to end the round, we're gonna make a slip stitch into the third chain. For 
for round six, chain three. Always count as one double crochet. And then make one double crochet into each of next three stitches. And then make two double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're gonna start the repeat. The repeat is going to be one double crochet into each of next four stitches and then two double crochet into the next stitch and repeat that around. So double crochet into the next stitch 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 then two double crochet into the next stitch and then repeat one double crochet into each of next four stitches And then two double crochet into the next stitch. Alright, you're gonna repeat this around. You're gonna make one double crochet into each of next four stitches and then two double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that around and I will be back. I'm at the end of round six and I have a total of 72 stitches around. And to end the round, we're gonna make a slip stitch into the third chain. okay now we're gonna stop increase so for round seven we chain three count as one double crochet and then we're gonna make one double crochet into the next stitch and then into each stitch around Keep making one double crochet into each stitch around and then I will be back. I'm at the end of round 7 and at the end of round 7 I have the same 72 stitches around because we not increase or decrease. And to end the round we're gonna make a slip stitch into the third chain. For round 8 to round 19, I'm going to repeat round 7 and every round you should have the same amount of the stitches. I'm going to show you a little bit on round 8. We chain 3, count as one double crochet. And then double crochet into the next stitch and into each stitch around. Very easy. Alright, I'm going to keep repeating round 7 until I reach the end of round 19 and then I will be back. If you want shorter bag, make less row. If you want a taller bag, feel free to add more row. Just repeat row 7. Alright, I will be back soon. I'm at the end of round 19 and here's what it looks like. And next, we're gonna continue crochet the strap. Okay, for the strap, we're gonna crochet in a row back and forth. Row one of the strap, we're gonna chain three. Always count as one double crochet. Then we're gonna make double crochet next two stitches together. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That is how we make double crochet two stitches together. So those two stitches become one stitch. We just decreased one stitch. Okay. The next, we're gonna make one double crochet into each of next 31 stitches. So just normal crochet into the next stitch. So here's one, 
double crochet into the next two three four twenty nine thirty and thirty one and then we're gonna make double crochet next two stitches together so we yarn over hook insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over grab a loop yarn over put those two loops yarn over hook insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over hook pull up a loop yarn over put through two loops i have three loops on my hook yarn over and put through all the loops on the hook and those two stitches become one stitch we just decrease one stitch right there all right here's what it looks like at the end of row one of the strap and i have a total of 34 stitches includes the first three chain and don't forget those two stitches count as one stitch right here and then at the end as well all right so row two we chain three one two three always count as one double crochet and then turn and then we're gonna decrease we're gonna make double crochet the next two stitches together so again yarn over hook not the very first stitch okay the very first stitch belong to the first three chain because it's count as one double crochet right so you want to start with the next two stitches so anyways i yarn over hook insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over put through two loops yarn over hook insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over hook pull up a loop yarn over put through two loops i have three loops on my hook yarn over and put through all the loops on the hook Okay, I just decreased one stitch right there. Then I'm gonna make one double crochet into the next stitch and each stitch until I have two stitches left. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch okay now i have two stitches left and the last stitch always gonna be the third chain okay because the first three chains always count as one double crochet so we're gonna decrease we're gonna make double crochet last two stitches together yarn over hook insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over hook insert the hook into the last stitch which is the third chain right here then yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops i have three loops on my hook yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook so we just decrease one stitch right here at the end of row two i have a total of 32 stitches across we just decrease two stitches one at the end and then one at the beginning okay row three chain three and turn then we're gonna make a double crochet next two stitches together yarn over hook insert the hook into the next stitch here yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over hook insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over put through two loops yarn over and put through all the loops on the hook then make one double crochet into the next stitch and each stitch until you have two stitches left i have two stitches left i'm gonna make double crochet the last two stitches together And the last stitch always gonna be the third chain at the end of row three i have a total of 30 stitches across we just decrease two stitches one at the end and one at the beginning row four chain three count as one double crochet and turn then we're gonna decrease we're gonna make a double crochet next two stitches together
then make double crochet into each stitch until you have two stitches left. I have two stitches left at the end of row four. We're gonna decrease, we're gonna make double crochet the last two stitches together. The last stitch here at the third chain. At the end of row four, I have a total of 28 stitches across. We just decrease two stitches. Row five, we're gonna do the same. We chain three and turn. Then we're gonna make double crochet next two stitches together. Then one double crochet into each stitch until you have two stitches left. I have two stitches left at the end of row five. We're gonna decrease again. We're gonna make double crochet last two stitches together. At the end of row five, I have a total of 26 stitches across. Row six, we're gonna do the same. We chain three, count as one double crochet and turn. Then we're gonna decrease, we're gonna make double crochet next two stitches together. Then one double crochet into each stitch until you have two stitches left. I have two stitches left at the end of row six. Next, we're gonna decrease, we're gonna make double crochet last two stitches together. At the end of row six, I have a total of 24 stitches across. For row seven, we're gonna chain three. Count as one double crochet and then turn. Okay, from now on, we're gonna stop decreasing. So we're gonna make a double crochet into the next stitch and then into each stitch across. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Keep doing that across. And don't forget the last stitch right at the third chain. At the end of row seven, I have a total of 24 stitches across. For row eight to row 12, I gonna repeat row seven. And every row, you're gonna have the same amount of the stitches, which is 24 stitches, because we not decrease anymore. So I gonna show you a little bit on row eight. We chain three, count as one double crochet, then turn. Make double crochet into the next stitch and then into each stitch across. Just repeat row seven, very easy. All right, so I can uh, keep repeating row seven until I reach the end of row 12, then I will be back. If you want shorter strap, make less row. If you want longer strap, feel free to add more row. Just repeat row seven, okay? So remember, this is just gonna be one side of the strap. Then after I reach the end of row 12, we're gonna start crochet the other side of the strap. All right, I'll be back soon. I'm at the end of row 12, and here's what it looks like. Okay, and like I said, if you want longer strap, feel free to add more row. So next, I'm gonna cut the yarn. Leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end later. Then next, we're gonna crochet the other side of the strap. Okay, for the other side of the strap, we're gonna crochet exactly the same as this side. So we're gonna add new yarn. 
right at the next stitch of the last stitch here on the outer strap I insert the hook there yarn over hook pull up a loop then we chain three always count as one double crochet and then we're gonna make double crochet the next two stitches together do the same yarn over hook insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over hook insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops i have three loops on my hook i yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and then make one double crochet into each of next 31 stitches so i should have two stitches left at the end okay it's gonna be the same stitch count same everything so double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next all right i'm gonna keep doing this until i have two stitches left okay i have two stitches left here i'm gonna make double crochet the last two stitches together At the end of row one, I have a total of 34 stitches across and I decrease two stitches, one stitch at the end and one stitch at the beginning. All right. And like I said, this strap is going to make exactly the same as this side, this strap. Okay. And I'm not going to show you every single row. I'm going to show you one more row, row two. We chain three, always count as one double crochet and then turn. Then we're gonna make double crochet the next two stitches together. Then one double crochet into each stitch until you have two stitches left. I have two stitches left at the end of row two and I'm gonna decrease, I'm gonna make double crochet the last two stitches together. And again, the last stitch always gonna be the third chain right here. At the end of row two, I have a total of 32 stitches across i just decrease two stitches one stitch on each side all right so row three to row 12 you're gonna make exactly the same as the other side of the strap if you cannot remember rewind the video okay and whatever the amount of row that you make on the other strap you're gonna make this strap the same amount of row all right I gonna go ahead and make row 3 to row 12 then I will be back okay this is the end of row 12 on my strap and then after that I cut the yarn and leave a long tail to sew up the two strap in together so after I cut the yarn I gonna pull my yarn out then I gonna use my yarn needle to sew up the straps together you can use a single crochet or slip stitch to join it's totally up to you so i insert my tail into my yarn needle then i'm gonna start sewing so my tail is come from this side i'm gonna insert my needle into the first stitch on the other strap there which is the third chain right there and then bring it up and then i'm gonna insert into the first stitch here and then first stitch there one more time just to lock the yarn and then I insert into the next stitch here, both loops, and then next stitch there, both loops. Bring it up. Next stitch here, and next stitch there. Bring it up. Next stitch here, and next stitch there. Bring it up. All right, I'm gonna keep sewing back and forth until the last stitch. And last stitch here, which is the third chain, and then last stitch there. And then I'm gonna weaving all my ends inside 
the strap and that's it for this bag and I try to keep this project easy to make for beginner and I think it's very easy and very fast to make as well and yeah I hope you enjoy watching this video if you make this bag I would love to see it if you want to share your work with me just tag me on Facebook or Instagram at knitcrawaddict I gonna put all the links in the description below thank you so much for watching I will see you next video bye bye